this is our 12th tutorial in our JavaScript series and in this tutorial we're going to talk about for loops so we're gonna jump to Dreamweaver and we're gonna make a small example about that so in this example we're going to iterate from 0 to 10 that's 11 iterations cause from 0 to 9 is 10 iterations from 0 to 10 is 11 I think that's a lot of math calculations right there and you got that so we're gonna start by declaring a new variable variable i and we're gonna set that equal to zero uh... then we're gonna create a for loop and the for loop works like this you need sorry about that you need a parenthesis and you're gonna iterate from i equals zero to i less than um, or equal to 10 and you're gonna iterate using the I++ so this is the iteration uh, parameters the first thing is you set f this is the beginning number and this is the ending number and this is how much it jumps these are the jumps so what is it? What's the iteration is going to do? It's gonna document dot write each time. It's going to write the number is, and it's going to print out for us i. And after that. If you can, uh, let me close this and try to run it and see what happens. It's gonna print out all the lines next to each other on the same line. So to avoid that, um, we're going to do a lot of trick and we're going to document that right on each iteration uh, a line break. That's a normal regular line break, same one you use in HTML. So no biggie right there. Let me run that. And it puts each one on a line. So this was our for loop. That's a basic ex example. It's, it's nothing complicated. And I hope you got the idea. Okay, this was our 12th tutorial about for loops. I hope you benefited from this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you got any questions, refer to our Quota Island forum. And thank you.